dog in the trunk. I'm back. Road Rants on the Rise of Skywalker. And this is not going to be a joke. Although to to Lucasfilm, I'm starting to wonder if it's if they're not considering this whole film to be a joke. Like it's a wash. We've said to hell with it. Lucasfilm has embraced the spoilers, I guess. JJ's talking about Ahsoka being in the movie. All these leaks are out. It's ridiculous. The last film of the Skywalker saga has become a joke. Now, Burger King... And yeah, Burger King's doing a joint promotion for The Rise of Skywalker. It was one of the... when I, A while back, I made a video talking about the marketing... Uh, or maybe I brought it up in a live stream talking about the marketing. They signed a $300 million deal with a group of companies. Burger King was one of them for promotion involving the Rise of Skywalker. And this is an Entertainment Weekly article. I'm not even going to read it. Burger King Germany is reportedly trading the Rise of Skywalker spoilers for Whoppers. Okay, and you may be like, well, what in the hell's going on here? Well, check this out. Okay. Um, do you see this on my screen right now? This is the ad. <laughs> this is the ad in Germany. Essentially, Star Wars fans can download a coupon if they agree to listen to a spoiler or see a spoiler from the movie, they get a free Whopper. Or if they walk into Burger King, they can agree to have the movie spoiled for them in order to get a, a free burger, in order to get a free burger, I mean, look at this. Now, actual, actual people, actual people walking, look at them, covering their eyes. Oh, this bitch, she's like, what? That's all spoilers on the screen, by the way, in their language. Yeah. Okay. Uh some people have come out and said oh no this is not really what went down horse shit it did go down this is going down right now this is going down right now okay and the ew article says that uh it is an official burger king promotion They have taken our beloved franchise and they have turned it into a literal joke. They don't even care that the, the last film of the Skywalker saga, they don't even care that leaks are out. They don't even, they're, it's, they're embracing the leaks. I've said in the last couple of days, I believe Disney Lucasfilm has decided this movie is a wash. So I'm starting to think, at this point, look, if the film makes $600 million, they don't give a damn because they've decided to, to shelf the movies for three years, no matter what, for the sake of TV. I mean, Errol to the bam, mother effing bam, bam. Errol to the eye hole. Okay, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing what has happened to our f beloved franchise. We can't hire the right story people, but we can make a joke out of all this. I mean, hey, lightsaber. Fuck it. Just throw it right over the th along with here's your here's your Star Wars heroes. Let's just let's just throw it right over our shoulder. Got a nice helping of tit milk here. Mmm. That's good, Ryan Johnson. You massive turd. This is this is this is ridiculous. I mean, there's part of me, I swear, that wished I didn't have a ticket right now. I'd be like to hell with it. I'll sell the seven C's to watch this movie, if you know what I mean. But I got a ticket, I'm gonna do a review. If the movie's good, I'm gonna say the movie's good. I still don't care. I'm not going to come on here and lie to you. If the movie's worth checking out, I'll say, you know what? The execution was unbelievable. I can't believe that they hit these leak points, but somehow they pulled it off in a way that made sense, blah, blah, blah. But the leaks make no sense. And they don't give a damn. 
Somebody said they were desperate. I disagree. I just don't think they don't. I don't think they care about the movies anymore. Especially now that the Mandalorian is so successful, and Obi Wan's right behind it, which they know is going to be massive. I think they've said to hell with it. I really do. Um, you tell me what you think, Road Squadron. <laughs> I mean, this is unreal. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.